Hi friends, John Laspina, your carnivore teacher, talking today to you about the difference between oxidative stress, oxidation, and glycation. Oxidation, glycation. Oxidation is when we are taking a substance like seed oils, a chemical reaction is happening so that they are looking for or releasing an electron and there's a space left over and it wants to fill that space. When something is oxidizing, it's almost like rust in the body. When iron rusts, it's losing its electrons and it's looking for more electrons. Oxidation happens when we're eating seed oils. They're already oxidized because of the way they extracted them through extremely high heat. But then when they get put into vats and you're frying food with them, they're heating that up even more. It's oxidizing even worse. Then you're eating that fried food and the heat in your body is oxidizing it even worse. And what does oxidation do? Oxidative stress generates inappropriate, that means you're not supposed to have it, inflammation in the body. We get inflammation throughout parts of our body from time to time for a reason, for healthy reasons, to take care of us when we have a little injury or scratch or a rip or a tear or stress. But when we initiate inappropriate inflammation, it, it happens on purpose, it's hurting us. It's, it's causing inflammation where there shouldn't be inflammation. And that's usually in our arterial walls, in our endothelial cells. It's damaging things. It's Basically, oxidation is chronic, excessive, inappropriate inflammation. People get swelled joints, they get arthritic conditions, they get gout conditions. They have all kinds of, a headache could be caused by inappropriate inflammation caused by oxidation. So that's oxidation. And foods can oxidize a little bit in our body, different things oxidize, but things that oxidize the most are seed oils. This is why we tell you to stay away from all vegetable seed oils. Canola, corn, soy, safflower, sunflower, rice bran, Crisco, margarine. Stay away from all foods that contain them in the ingredients. Don't cook with them. Don't eat fried foods unless they're fried in beef tallow. The other thing I talked about was glycation. Glycation is when sugar, glucose, that's where the word glycation, gla, comes from. Glucose is sticky. If you've ever spilled any kind of syrup, honey, sugar, soda, juice, fruit juice on the floor and it starts to dry and you try to clean it up, it's all sticky. Isn't that interesting? It's glycating. The sugar, the glucose in that sucrose molecule is sticky and it's sticking onto the floor. It's sticking onto your shoes and guess what? It sticks inside your arteries. It sticks in your endothelial cells of your arteries and damages the skeletal structure of those cells. And they're misshapen now. The body sees that, it says, oh, damage. We're gonna go fix that damage and throw a Band-Aid there. And that's where cholesterol and other things happen to go and make a plaque to fix it. The sugar caused the damage. Glycation is when glucose sticks onto proteins and damages the proteins. That's glycation. This is why we say on the proper human diet, the carnivore way of eating, try to have no sugar, no carbohydrates, no glucose. You're only getting the microscopic amount that's in the beef. Yes, there is sugar in beef, people. It's called glycogen, just like the glycogen in our muscle meat. There's glycogen in the muscle meat of animals that we're eating. It's so small, micro micrograms. You're healthier when you're not eating bread and rice and pasta and beans and cake and candy and pies and sugar because that is a massive amount of glucose and we're talking glycation to the nth degree and oxidative stress. When you combine oxidation and glycation inside your body and inside your joints and inside your arteries, that is a recipe for disease. That's a recipe for cancer. It's a recipe for diabetes. It's a recipe for any other disease that you can think of. Alzheimer's, name the disease, and there's always inflammation involved. Inflammation caused by oxidative stress. Inflammation caused by glycation. Minimize the glycation and oxidation through a carnivore way of eating, and you minimize the possibility of acquiring all those diseases and maximizing 
your amazing health benefits and you feel great. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like my content, click the thumbs up. Please click the share button and send it to a friend or to some family members. And if you're not a subscriber, push the subscribe button and help me reach more people with my messages. I really appreciate that. Have a wonderful day.